Hey everyone, Mitch Lee from Beat Drop, and today I want to show you how to make a wobble bass with Ableton Live's Operator. If you don't have Operator, these concepts are going to translate to um, pretty much any synth that's out there. The main concept is understanding how a low uh, frequency oscillator is going to control the filter frequency to make that wobble sound. So let's get started, let's show you how to do this. So I'm going to go up into my live device browser and I'm going to toggle down the instruments folder and I'm going to drop out an operator into an empty space here. Now let's go and rename this to something more appropriate. Let's call it uh, Wobble Bass. And if you look down here, this is um, the operator shows up. You'll notice that there's four little chiclets or four boxes that are different colors. These are four uh, A, B, C, and D represent different oscillators. And we're going to just turn off C and D for now. We might come back to those, but we're going to primarily use oscillator A and B for this tutorial. Now, if you click on this section here, we're going to change the waveform that is um, default here, which is a sine wave. We're going to change that to a square D wave. It's a little more bite. I'm just playing that on my MIDI keyboard. And uh, it's going to give us a little more of that digital gritty sound. And I'm going to turn up oscillator B all the way. And we're going to leave it at sign. If you could actually try this on square D. See what it sounds like. Change it to uh, back to sign. And you can adjust this course setting here. You can adjust the level. And this will fine tune and color your sound. We'll come back to that at the end to fine tune it. Now we're going to come over here to the filter section. We're going to turn the filter on and we want to be able to filter out certain frequencies of this sound. And we're going to change the filter type to a low SVF. Low 12 dB will give us a similar sound but the SVF just sounds a little bit better to my ears. And we're going to turn that, we're going to filter out frequencies below, above uh, around 300. Turn the resonance up. To there. Now what we want to do is be able to turn the LFO on and say, hey LFO, I want you to modulate the filter frequency here. But by default, it's going to control oscillators A and B and if we had C and D on as well. So we're going to say, LFO, we want you to control the filter. And it's going to control this filter frequency here. So if I turn the amount up to about 75%-ish, and you'll start to hear this wobble. Now I'm going to change the LFO range to sync. And what that's going to do is going to make our rate uh, based upon time division, like 16th notes or 8th notes, and a little bit more musical for us. If we want to freestyle or freewheel it, turn this back on to low. And you'll have to be a little bit more precise in turning this rate knob. So we're almost there. We want to come down to this global section. If we click anywhere here, this will change our parameters in the middle here. And we want to be able to turn our voices down to one. This will make it monophonic and not be able to play more than one key. If we click on the pitch shell here, this will give us an option to turn on glide. And this will give us that gliding sound in between notes. Now, what I typically would do is fine tune this a bit by adjusting some of the coarse frequencies or the level here in the different oscillators. And we're really close to getting a sound that, that sounds pretty decent. This tone control will also help um, color the sound a bit. So a lot of the newer dubstepy sounds are a little more mid mid range sounding. Um, this has got a little bit of both, and even adding some effects. If you wanted to add uh, the amp effect, audio effect to this, it's gonna it's gonna give us some bite. Like it's uh, pretty interesting. So just to review, the biggest thing that I want to you guys to understand is this LFO is actually controlling this filter frequency to give us that wobble. That's what makes it wobble in the first place. And in um, operator, you got to turn, make sure destination A is going to the filter. So that's pretty key. Ways that you can color this is by adding oscillators, controlling your level, your coarse frequency knob, your tone control here, um, adding effects like an amp effect, messing with the different settings. 
But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to play just a little bit of a beat I made at the drum rack in Ableton Live and um, an instrument rack that was a preset called Guitar Reggae Chords. I just drew out some chords here and um, let's have some fun. Thank you. 